Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of neuroscience to explore what happens to the brain during a coma. So, grab a seat and let's unravel the mysteries together. In the realm of medical mysteries, few conditions capture our imagination quite like the coma. It's a state of suspended consciousness where the mind appears to be dormant, but what's truly happening inside the brain during this time? Before we delve into the intricacies, let's understand what a coma actually is. A coma is a profound state of unconsciousness where an individual is unresponsive to external stimulus. During a coma, the brain is in a state of altered consciousness where the normal sleep-wake cycles are disrupted. When a person is in a coma, the brain is still active, but the person is unable to respond to stimuli. The brain continues to function, regulating basic bodily functions such as breathing and heart rate. However, higher brain functions such as consciousness, awareness, and perception are severely impaired. At the core of this phenomenon lies the reticular activating system, responsible for maintaining consciousness. During a coma, this system is disrupted, plunging the brain into a state of profound unconsciousness. Some spooky cases are listed below. 1. The case of Ramhalbin. Ramhalbin, a Belgian man, was diagnosed as being in a coma for 23 years. However, it was later discovered that he was conscious the whole time, but unable to communicate due to a condition called locked-in syndrome. His story raised questions about the misdiagnosis of comatose patients and the importance of accurate assessments. 2. The case of Kata Latt. Kata Latt, a British woman, suffered a massive stroke that left her in a coma. Despite being in a coma, she was aware of her surroundings. She experienced locked-in syndrome, where she was conscious but unable to move or communicate. Eventually, she regained some movement and speech, becoming an advocate for stroke survivors. 3. The case of Sarah Scantlin. Sarah Scantlin was hit by a drunk driver in 1984, leaving her in a coma for 20 years. Remarkably, during those two decades, in 2005, she began to speak again, stunning her family and medical professionals. Now, let's explore what's happening inside the brain during a coma. In the silent world of a coma, where consciousness seems to retreat into the shadows, the brain undergoes a remarkable transformation. One of the most striking changes is the significant decrease in metabolic activity. Metabolism, the process by which cells convert nutrients into energy, is crucial for the brain's functioning. However, during a coma, this metabolic activity slows down dramatically. Comatose patients often exhibit a marked reduction in metabolic rate within the brain. This decrease in metabolic activity can be observed through various imaging techniques such as positron emission tomography. PET scans reveal that areas of the brain responsible for higher cognitive functions, such as the cerebral cortex, show notably diminished metabolic activity during a coma. Decrease in metabolic activity suggests a state of suspended function, where the brain conserves energy and resources. This metabolic slowdown may contribute to the suppression of consciousness and the diminished responsiveness observed in comatose patients. Secondly, the brain's ability to regulate arousal and awareness is impaired. Even though the individual may appear asleep, they cannot be awakened by external stimuli. While the brainstem may continue to maintain basic arousal functions, the pathways connecting it to the cerebral cortex may be impaired, leading to a lack of consciousness. Intricate interplay between arousal and awareness pathways is crucial for maintaining consciousness. When these pathways are compromised, as in the case of a coma, consciousness is profoundly altered or even absent. Recent studies using advanced imaging techniques have shed light on how the brain's arousal and awareness systems are affected during coma. Functional MRI, fMRI, Scans have revealed patterns of brain activity that suggest residual awareness in some comatose patients, despite their apparent lack of consciousness. Thirdly, sensory processing is severely impaired during a coma. Despite sensory organs functioning, the brain cannot interpret or respond to the information received. Sensory processing, the brain's ability to receive and interpret information from the environment, even in a coma, the brain remains sensitive to various sensory stimuli. 
During a coma, the brain's capacity to process sensory information is still active. While the patient may appear unresponsive to external stimuli, their brain may still register and process sensory inputs. The sensory pathways in the brain, including those for vision, hearing, touch, taste, and smell, continue to function during a coma. However, the extent to which these stimuli are perceived and integrated into conscious awareness varies from patient to patient. Fourthly, while certain autonomic functions like breathing and heart rate regulation may continue, higher cognitive functions are significantly compromised. In the mysterious realm of a coma, where consciousness hangs in limbo, the intricate web of cognitive functions that define human experience is profoundly compromised. However, during a coma, these cognitive processes are disrupted, leaving the individual in a state of profound cognitive impairment. Comatose patients often experience a significant decline in cognitive function, ranging from mild impairment to complete loss. The disruption of normal brain activity during coma prevents the proper functioning of cognitive processes, leading to a loss of awareness, comprehension, and responsiveness. The cerebral cortex, the brain's outer layer responsible for higher cognitive functions, experiences a marked decrease in activity during a coma. This disruption affects crucial cognitive processes, including perception, memory formation, and executive function. Finally, the exact mechanisms underlying coma involve a complex interplay of neurotransmitters, ion channels, and neuronal circuits. Factors like trauma, stroke, or infections can disrupt these processes. Gamma-aminobutyric acid, GABA during coma, there may be an excess of GABergic activity, leading to widespread inhibition of neural circuits and a decrease in overall brain function. Glutamate. In coma, there may be disruptions in glutamatergic signaling, leading to impaired synaptic transmission and reduced excitatory input to neurons, further contributing to decreased brain activity. Acetylcholine. Acetylcholine plays a crucial role in regulating arousal, attention, and memory. Dysfunction in cholinergic pathways can impair consciousness and cognitive function during coma. Dopamine. Disruptions in dopaminergic pathways may contribute to alterations in consciousness and arousal levels during coma. Serotonin. Dysfunction in serotonergic pathways can impact consciousness and may contribute to the development or maintenance of coma states. Norepinephrine. Norepinephrine is involved in regulating arousal, attention, and stress response. Dysregulation of noradrenergic pathways can impair consciousness and may contribute to the severity of coma. Overall, the balance of neurotransmitters in the brain is crucial for maintaining normal brain function and consciousness. Disruptions in the complex interplay of these neurotransmitters can lead to coma and may influence the depth and duration of the comatose state. Understanding the role of neurotransmitters in coma is essential for developing targeted therapies and interventions aimed at restoring consciousness and improving patient outcomes. So, what does all this mean for someone in a coma? Well, the prognosis varies depending on factors like the underlying cause and duration of the coma. Long-term coma can lead to structural changes in the brain, affecting cognitive and motor function. However, Advancements in neuroscience offer hope for improved outcomes and potential interventions. Coma can be categorized into different stages based on the level of neurological function and responsiveness exhibited by the individual. Although the classification of coma stages may vary, here is a general overview. Stage 1. Vegetative state In this stage, the individual exhibits sleep-wake cycles but lacks awareness or responsiveness to their surroundings. They may open their eyes, display reflexive movements, and exhibit autonomic functions like digestion and breathing. However, there is no purposeful interaction or meaningful communication. Stage 2. Minimally conscious state individuals in this stage may show some degree of awareness, intermittently responding to stimuli or following simple commands. Although their responses may be inconsistent or limited, these signs indicate a higher level of neurological function compared to a vegetative state. Stage 3. Coma This is the classic stage of coma that most people associate with the term. Individuals in this stage are completely unresponsive, lacking both awareness and wakefulness. 
They do not exhibit purposeful movements, meaningful eye contact, or response to external stimuli. Stage 4, Deep Coma In this stage, the individual's neurological activity is significantly depressed. The brain's functions slow down, and there is minimal to no response to external stimuli. The depth and severity of the coma deepen, indicating a more severe impairment of brain function. Stage 5. Brain death Brain death occurs when there is a complete and irreversible loss of brain function, including brainstem activity. Individuals in this stage no longer exhibit any signs of life, including breathing or reflexes. Brain death is considered the irreversible end of all brain activity and is a legal and medical determination. It is important to note that these stages are generalized, and the specific progression and characteristics of coma can vary depending on the underlying cause, individual factors, and medical treatment. Coma is a complex condition requiring specialized medical care and monitoring. Consulting with healthcare professionals is crucial for a comprehensive understanding of an individual's specific coma stage and prognosis. Coma can have a variety of causes. Some of the most common causes include 1. Traumatic brain injury. A severe blow or jolt to the head can cause damage to the brain, leading to a coma. 2. Stroke. A stroke can cause a lack of oxygen and blood supply to the brain, which can lead to damage and a coma. 3. Brain tumor. A tumor in the brain can lead to an increase in pressure, which can cause brain damage and a coma. 4. Infections. Various infections, such as encephalitis, meningitis, or sepsis, can cause inflammation and damage to the brain. 5. Metabolic disorders. Severe imbalances in the body's metabolic functions, such as high or low blood sugar, can lead to brain damage and a coma. 6. Poisoning. Exposure to toxins, chemicals, or drugs can lead to a coma due to damage caused to the central nervous system. 7. Hypoxia. A lack of oxygen, such as in cases of drowning, suffocation, or carbon monoxide poisoning, can lead to brain damage and a coma. 8. Epileptic seizures. A prolonged or severe epileptic seizure can lead to a coma. 9. Hypothermia or hyperthermia. Extreme body temperature fluctuations can cause brain damage and a coma. 10. Cardiovascular events. Sudden cardiac arrest or a severe drop in blood pressure can lead to a lack of oxygen to the brain, leading to brain damage and a coma. It is important to note that these are not the only causes of coma, and other underlying medical conditions or injuries can also contribute to the development of a coma. Accurate diagnosis and treatment of the underlying cause are crucial for the management and prognosis of coma. And that concludes our journey into the mysteries of what happens to the brain during a coma. Remember, understanding these processes is crucial for providing the best care and support for individuals affected by coma. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of science. Until next time, stay curious.